What is going on, Chelsea fans? We have just beaten West Ham 3-0 away from home. The first time since 2017 that we've gone there to West Ham and won away. An unbelievable performance. The best performance I've, ch I've seen Chelsea put in all season. Absolutely fantastic. I've barely got a bad word to say. I've seen phenomenal performances from Casado, Nicholas Jackson, Levi Colwell in defence was fantastic today. Cole Palmer with an exceptional finish. When everyone's telling me Cole Palmer's done, Cole Palmer is not going to be the same player this season. And look at today's performance. Yes, West Ham were not without worry. There's concern there at West Ham. They look worse now than they did at any point under David Moyes for me. That didn't feel like we were competing against the West Ham we've seen compete in London derbies in seasons gone by. They failed to get up for that today, West Ham. But Chelsea didn't. And that is what matters. I've questioned whether this team understand what it means to play in a London derby. I've questioned whether Maresca is able to stamp his identity on this team. I've seen it all today. We absolutely stepped up in a London derby. And Enzo Maresca, wow. That second goal, I can tell you right now, he's been at work in training. Because that second goal is everything I wanted to see in a Chelsea team under Maresca. Even under Poch last year, I expected that and I never saw it. The movement around that second goal is fantastic. On the ball and off the ball. Jackson's run for Casado to open up that midfield, put it straight through West Ham's defence was fantastic. The one-two touch passing from Enzo, Kukurea, Casado, Levi Colwell, fantastic. Short, direct passes that drew West Ham onto us, that opened up space in the midfield for Chelsea to play through with ease is exactly what I want to see. That's good football to me. A fantastic goal and something I hope to see more of from Chelsea this season because that's the type of football that People have told me Maresca played at Leicester. And that's the type of football Maresca's telling us in press conferences and interviews after the game that he wants his Chelsea side to play. And I can live with that because that's exciting football. That's good football on the eye. It's attractive. It's high detail football. That's what I want to see because we have the players to do that without doubt. And I think at times they've been misprofiled and they've been asked to do things that don't allow them to be in those positions to play that intricate style of football. We've seen our midfield be vacant this season because they've been focused on rotating to different positions in and out of possession. Today, that was simplified. They didn't do that as much. And we were able to get on the ball and dominate the game and transition extremely well with such pace and be so clinical with our chances today. Look at Nicholas Jackson. The first chance is through the keeper's legs. An unbelievable finish. An astute pass from Sancho. Alertness from Nicholas Jackson to create that opportunity from that short free kick. Enzo Fernandez is part of that as well. Had a good game today. Not unbelievable. Not really, really good. But just a good game. More of that, please, Enzo. Consistent performances like that raise the level of the whole team. Cole Palmer. The people are telling me He's never going to be the same this season. He's going to find it extremely difficult. Well, he rose to the test today. At times, he was picking the ball up in areas where he didn't do so much this season. He was highly dependent on last season to be the man that could get us out of woeful situations. Chelsea are blessed now to be in a situation where we don't have to rely on just Cole Palmer. Nicholas Jackson is putting in unbelievable performances. Sancho unbelievable performances. We've seen two really consistent performances from him. We've seen Noni Madueke have a good start to the season, albeit not as good as where he was against Wolves today, but still another okay game from him. Cole Palmer's finish was fantastic today. Didn't think he was ever going to miss, and the angle was pretty difficult for a left-footed player. In off the post, but the way we transitioned there with Jackson, and he picked his pass out perfectly, He's improving all the time, Nicholas Jackson. How many times last season did we see him fumble that? How many times have we seen him not take those chances that he took today? With ease, he took those chances. Effortless 
as he tucked the ball away into the into the back of the net. Both times. There's a joy on these players' faces after today's game. Look at the celebration. Jackson's enjoying his football at the moment. Two goals and an assist in a London derby. He loves a London derby. He gets it, by the way. Look at Spurs last year. I'm really happy. Maresca got everything right today. Not a lot wrong. I questioned that Nkunku probably deserved to be starting. And I probably felt that Madaweki was the player that might miss out. But realistically, he probably got it right. Because when Nkunku came on, he didn't quite have the impact that we probably thought he would have on the game. And Madaweki probably had a better game than Nkunku today. But really, no one was poor. I think Tosin in defence had a really solid game. Wesley Fofana at right back. It kind of went unnoticed because he just defended and did his job. He didn't bomb on. He didn't invert all the time. He didn't leave that area vacant. He just got on with doing his job defensively, defending that area of the pitch, winning his battles. On the left-hand side, Kukurea did invert, but at times was really effective when he did that. And at times, yes, Kudos probably had the beating of him, but the way Kukurea recovered was fantastic. There was that moment where Kuk where Kukurea was beaten by Kudos. He was getting his shot off. Kukurea commits and dives to the floor and blocks that. And yeah, there was moments today where I think West Ham could have had a penalty. But we've had some dodgy referee in this season. It swings and roundabouts. I always say that. The one thing I always say is never let the referee in be an excuse as to why you didn't win a game of football. Make sure that you've done enough as a team and as a group of players. And today they absolutely did that and West Ham didn't and that's why they're moaning about that not being a penalty because ultimately as a team they weren't good enough today they're frustrated they absolutely are in a worrying position they look worse than they've ever done under David Moyes they got so ahead of themselves the West Ham fans saying that they deserve better and they expect better because they'd won a European Cup now they've gambled and at the moment Lopetegui looks like he's drowning and it doesn't look great for West Ham right now. I think that's one they either sit on and be patient with or admit that they might be wrong early and save the club from maybe a relegation battle this season because that's where they could be if it carries on for West Ham like this, this season. If they're failing to turn up in London derbies that they've done so many times in the past, they're going to struggle. I think I'd be worried if I was a West Ham fan. But as a Chelsea fan today, off the back of that, I've never been happier under Maresca this season. I think that is the one where I can look at it and say a consistent 45 minutes in both halves, clinical in front of goal, took our chances with ease, looked frightening every single time we went forwards. The way we moved the ball and the way we had this clear identity of how we might play was so obvious today. You know, it was either we attacked on the counter-attack in transition and looked devastating or we retained possession, controlled the ball, moved the ball deeper back into our own half, allowed West Ham to step up and press us and then go through them with ease like we did for the second goal. That is a clear identity and a clear structure and something I can get behind. I haven't seen that and at times I questioned it that Maresca was so worried on tactical fluidity of players occupying different positions and different roles in attack and defense that actually we were worrying about what we were doing we weren't worried about what we were doing with the ball and we were losing the idea of how to win a game of football because we were more focused on where we were on the pitch today we simplified things down and we moved the ball in a manner that controlled the game for large periods of it and if we weren't in control on the ball off the ball we defended in a way that allowed us to control the game and allowed us to dictate how we would counter-attack. And we did that devastatingly well. And that's the first time I've seen that today. At Bournemouth, there were times where I felt like we really weren't in that game. And Bournemouth were definitely in the ascendancy. Against Palace, we didn't take our chances. Today, we took them and we won the game. We, we probably should have won that game against Palace if we'd been as clinical as we were today. And we weren't. But... 10 points out of a possible 15 and before I started recording we were second in the Premier League table is not a bad place to be from the early kickoff going into a League Cup game against Barrow that we should win but it's a competition that I want to win and we need to take every game seriously because 
these are the fixtures that can be banana skins. You, you kind of underestimate the team you're going to play against. I expect to win. And I feel like we're going in at a really good level in terms of the football we've just played, where the players are at fitness-wise. I feel like we look a lot sharper than we did a few games ago. We look like we can last the duration of a game with, with more ease now than we were doing a couple of weeks ago prior to the international break. And I think there's a connection between the club and the fans again. I think we saw that away from home. There's no doubt about it that the players seem to enjoy playing away from home a lot more. I think the pressure's off. I think there's a negativity that narrates around Stamford Bridge that rains down on the players that they don't like and they don't do very well. They don't cope with that very well. But today, they didn't give the fans any reason to have any negative views on that game realistically we were in a situation where we were asking for more from the players that came on because we just wanted more goals West Ham wouldn't care if they beat us 5-0 I don't care if we be we beat West Ham 5-0 I want this Chelsea team to be ruthless I want them to be relentless in how many goals they score I want us to be fighting for clean sheets and I think we did that today but I would love to have put six past West Ham and I, I actually feel like that would have been possible today they looked that bad so that's all I would ask for is more. But we're going into this game against Barrow midweek with players hungry for positions again because the team's playing well and players are getting annoyed when they happen to come off the pitch or they're getting annoyed that they're not starting games. So the squad competition is there and we're going to see that against Barrow that some players hopefully will put in unbelievable performances that Maresca starts having to ask questions. Actually, is he good enough to play in that position when that player's not doing enough? You know, Madueke had a great game against Wolves and ever since has slightly declined in the level of performance because that game was so good for him personally as an individual to score a hat-trick like that. But people are going to start asking questions and say, look, he had a great game against Wolves, but he hasn't quite done it since. Should Nkunku be getting in the side? Should Neto be getting in the side? Should Jao Phoenix be getting in the side if a player's level slips? Even just a tad. And that's the beauty of a squad as talented as Chelsea's right now. And we've we've managed to put that together. And defensively, imagine when we had a right back to this. I think it could be fantastic. I imagine Gusto. Imagine a fit Reese James in this side today. I think the scoreline might have doubled if Reese James had been playing at his level. Gusto was a fantastic option for us down the right hand side last season. Got a few assists was fantastic in his delivery fantastic in providing energy up and down that right hand side last season and we didn't have that today because we had to be limited because we've got injuries there this team is looking so positive off the back of this performance and I'm really really happy with how we go into the next game and for me I'm happy with where we're at under the coach and the new look of what Chelsea might look like this season because at times under Pochettino I wasn't confident. You know, we were making mistakes and it, but they weren't being rectified. Maresca's made mistakes. The club have made mistakes. The team have made mistakes. And they're being rectified at a much quicker rate than they ever were last season. Imagine when Lavia comes back into this midfield. It's going to be in a really good place. But it's not going to be easy to walk straight back in as well, which is exactly where I want it to be. I do believe this season will be a lot of highs and lows. And there'll be it'll be a roller coaster. I really do believe that. But Today's shown me the level of where I believe this Chelsea team can be. And we just need to make sure that when we go and play more difficult teams, we are absolutely up for that challenge and we are ready because they will be tougher. There will be tougher games than West Ham today. I can assure you that right now. And we need to make sure we're able to compete in those as well. But for now, you beat and win and compete against and compete in the matches that you're asked to play. And 10 out of a possible 15, that's not bad. I can live with that. That's that's good for where Chelsea are right now. And um, a lot of players are, are answering questions that they're being asked. Mikhail asking Jackson, can you score every week? He's pretty much doing that at the moment. People asking Cole Palmer, can he deal with the extra pressure on him this year? He scored that goal today. Still got good numbers for this season. So they're answering the questions. Levi Colwell. Are you good enough defensively to be starting for Chelsea? Yes. On today's on today's basis, yes, he is. A really good performance. 
is Sanchez good enough to be Chelsea's goalkeeper? Last week, he answered that question. He said, yes, I am. I'm going to save penalties. I'm going to keep Chelsea in this game. And that's what you want your keeper to do. So, ultimately, that's all these players can keep doing. They're young, they're inexperienced, and they're going to face new challenges consistently. But we are a work in progress. And I saw a glimpse today of, what, of how bright the future could be. For, for a lot of these Chelsea players. A fantastic performance. Going into the weekend happy. A, three points on the board. 10 out of a possible 15. Cup game during the week. And an away win in the London derby against West Ham. Keep the blue flag flying eye. Let's try and get 25 likes on this video. It's been an absolute pleasure watching the game and reacting to the game with you today. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We're on the way to 3,000 subscribers before Christmas. That's the goal. And I will catch you in the next one.